Maya FPS is a plugin for Autodesk Maya which implements first person camera controls. The plugin allows you to control the perspective camera in Maya using traditional first person shooter controls. These are W, A, S, D for movement and the mouse to look around. Maya's default camera manipulation tools are suitable for working on a single model, but when you are working with scenes that have many objects, you'll notice that the default camera tools are not very comfortable to work with. Maya FPS solves this problem by providing you with a camera control scheme that you are most likely already quite familiar with. So if you are a level designer for example, you can move much of the level design process back into Maya for easier and quicker modifications. The first person shooter control scheme is more suitable and natural for a lot of scene types and should save you a lot of time and frustration. Let's take a look at how to use the plugin. I'll be using this simple scene that I've put together for demonstration. First, let's load the plugin into Maya. I'll go to Windows, Settings and Preferences and open the plugin manager. I'll then click on the Browse button and locate the appropriate Maya FPS plugin file. Notice that there are multiple MLL files, each corresponding to a version of Maya. The format is Maya FPS followed by the version of Maya. So, Maya FPS 2012 X32 is for Maya 2012 and the 32 bit version. Notice that the plugin is only available on Microsoft Windows. Now that the plugin has been loaded, we are greeted with this window that mainly just contains a quick guide. I'll just click OK. To engage the first person controls, I'll simply click and hold the right mouse button in the 3D perspective view. Now I can use the mouse to look around and the WASD keys to move around. I can use Q and E to move the camera up and down. Additionally, I can use Shift to temporarily increase the movement speed. I can also use Control to temporarily slow down. Once I release the right mouse button, the first person controls are disengaged and all keys revert to their original function. To quickly adjust the movement speed of the camera to better suit the scene, I'll use the mouse wheel while the right button is pressed. I'll scroll forward to increase the movement speed and backwards to slow it down. Notice that pressing and holding the right button normally brings up Maya's marking menu, but now we are using it to engage first person controls. To access the marking menu, while the right button is pressed, I'll simply tap the left button. Alternatively, I can use keyboard modifiers to control when the first person controls are engaged. To do that, I need to bring up the settings window. While the right button is pressed, I'll press F2 on the keyboard. An alternative method is to enter the MEL command Maya FPS settings. I'll check Control and Shift and click Apply. Now when I press the right button, first person controls are only engaged if both Control and Shift are pressed. These modifiers need to be pressed only at the time the right button is clicked so releasing them does not disengage the controls. However, I found it much quicker and easier to use no keyboard modifiers and just tap the left button to bring up the marking menu when needed. You can use the settings window to tweak the behavior of the plugin. For example, I can change the mouse smoothing options to achieve much smoother rotations using the mouse. To lock the movement of the camera across the horizontal plane, I'll toggle Caps Lock. This is similar to the way your character in a first person shooter game stays on the ground plane while moving and looking up or down. Thank you for taking the time to watch this introduction and quick guide to Maya FPS, the first person camera plugin for Maya. I hope you'll enjoy the added freedom Maya FPS brings to your workflow.